Thanksgiving. This is just FYI for any FYI for anybody who goes out solo boating and goes out at night. Wear your life jacket. I've got mine on, I've got my horse collar on, and I've got my lanyard around my wrist. Just making sure everything is good to go when you go out at night. You never know when something's gonna happen. Oh, and the last thing, I have my VHF radio on right now as well. being hammered by some light rain. I'm hoping that I get in before it gets too much. I probably got about another, another three miles, something like that. Looks like I'm the last one here. So grilling that on the boat is one of the, my favorite things to do. Here it is uh, almost December. And I've got uh, Thai marinated chicken sticks. And I met some people from... Hi there. But I met this couple from Wisconsin. The people right there. They're living down in uh, Waikiki. I gave them some heads up on some things to do, especially going to Chinaman's Hat for the day. Even without a kayak, they can walk across at a certain time of the tide, the tide changes they can go across. And I met Captain Joe, who's piloting that boat right there. It's a racing boat and he's actually uh, berthed over in, on the other side of the island. So he said that they came over from the other side of the island, the Waikiki side, Took six hours to go from Waikiki side over here yesterday, and they're gonna go back tomorrow. All right, so we're, re we're ready. Bree already ate, as you can see, she has her dog food already. We're good to go. We've got the extra citrus I put in on this. That makes it, I used a combination of lemon and lime this time, wow. All right. And your name again? Mimi. Mimi, and you are? Mark. Mark. And tell me how you got out here to the sandbar. Okay. We were actually swimming from the 
from the shore until here and it took us about one and a half hours. Two. She's lying. She's what? lying. What? Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> So in reality, she said, she said that it's gonna take us like an hour. Yeah. An hour, yeah. and she's a liar. Yeah. <laughs> two, <laughs> two hours to get out here, and you swam out with no flotation. You swam out just like this. Yeah. Okay, and it was because you got to the to the uh, rental place or the kayak place late, and they didn't have anything. Exactly. And so you decided to chance it, yeah. and come out yeah. and swim. <laughs> because the weather was so good today, so we wanted to use the chance and just try. Yeah, so good. The morning was raining. The morning was raining. <laughs> well, well, I haven't heard of anybody swimming all the way from Heia out to the sandbar, but, but I'm glad to have met you, and I'm going to take you back now. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's Dawn Patrol on day three of a four-day weekend. Day three, three days of boating on the water. Looking forward to this one and putting this chapter to rest. Time to pick up some well-earned coffee and I've actually got to get some gas for the truck. I didn't realize yesterday on the way home how low I was and I'm low. Uh, I'm expecting the little telltale light to come on any second. So let's get, let's get some coffee and then get back to the boating at hand. There's the drone. It's floating away. I'm gonna have to go get it. Race day. Well, after that hair raising escapade with the drone, uh, wow. Every time I fly the drone off the boat, it, I'm, I'm shaking, wondering if I'm gonna lose it again, you know? Uh, we we'll only well, I can only guesstimate what the video looks like. It looked pretty cool. I had it paralleling me, and I was only going. I was going fairly slow. I didn't want to lose track of the drone. Um, we'll see. I'm waiting for the coffee to get hot now, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day.